starting drawing Horrid Henry. Wow. If I draw any characters at all, I like to start at the top. I always start at the head. That's why on a lot of my drawings the feet get cut off. I haven't left enough paper at the bottom to draw the feet on. But I always draw the head because if the head works out, the rest of the body really doesn't matter too much. If the head looks like Horrid Henry, well then the rest's going to look vaguely like Horrid Henry. So I always start at the top. So if he's wearing a hat, I'd start with a hat. Lizzie's not wearing a hat, I'll start with a hair. And in Horrid Henry's case, he has this uh, sort of mop of hair like that. As much of it as possible. You have a lot of fun doing this, and don't be neat. His, Horrid Henry is quite un, 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 uncouth, uncouth, untidy chap. So don't bother being neat. Then a little bit of face like that. Looks easy. It isn't. It isn't. Because you've got to try and make one face side of the face look a bit like the other side of the face. Then the next thing I go to are the eyes. A horrid Henry, being horrid, has horrid eyes. You get nice eyes like that with eyelashes. That's a nice eye. There's another nice eye with eyelashes. Those are nice eyes. Perfect Peter's eyes are like that, so big smile makes a happy person. But horrid eyes are scowling like that. You can see those eyes there are really quite angry compared to those eyes. So, put in two lines like that. And those lines show that he's angry and he's horrid. Then the eyes like that, the eyeballs, you can put those in anywhere going into any direction. But you always make sure that if the eyes are like that, the eyeballs are in the same part of the eye because eyeballs are like that. They both have to look in the same direction. So the eyes have got to be at the same. So there they're both on this right hand side of his eyes. So he's looking over there. His nose is quite simple. Had to draw simple noses because uh, a lot of horrid Henry drawings to be done. So it's done quite quickly. Now I know where his eyes and his nose are. It's a good idea to finish off the hair to bring it a bit closer down over his eyes as if he needs a haircut. Then a horrid mouth. That's really very easy. So if you get the two eyes and the horrid mouth, you have horrid Henry, really. The nose and the hair just help to make a character. So now I have to put a body on it. There's a little neck of his t-shirt. Now I don't want to draw things that I can't draw. I'm not very happy drawing hands, for instance. So it's a good idea, if you can't draw something, don't draw it, so you can hide it. So here's Horrid Henry, he's got one arm behind his body, like that. Now that's quite easy, to put an arm behind a body is a really good way of not having to draw his hand. I'll draw a hand on the other side, just to show that I can, and I'll put the arm up in the air, like that. It's often good not to have both arms down here, but to show the arms doing things. Now he's waving. So on top of the arm, now I've got to put a waving hand, and I always wave with hands out like that, so they're easy to draw like that rather than like that. So don't worry about the hands, they're terribly difficult to draw well, so just draw them badly like I do finger out there, there's the thumb, and then one, two, three, four. Don't worry about it, that'll do. Don't worry about it one little bit. And a couple of little lines there, those are called flash lines, show that the hand's actually moving. Then the thing I'm always forgetting is to put the pattern on his jersey, which is a band like that. Now th when this was um, first designed, Horrid Henry was first designed, he was given this hair and that jersey so you could tell him from the back, from the side and front and to know whether it's the same person to have uh, 
these very distinctive things. So from the back, if there's a figure like that and it's got hair all over the place like that, that still could be anybody. But as soon as you put in the striped jersey and you add colour to it and make it blue and yellow, well, the jersey says, this is Horrid Henry. So the colouring of the jersey is, is quite important. There's the end of the jersey. Now, Horrid Henry has legs, two legs, and two feet. He's got the full set. Uh, sometimes, not always the fun thing to draw, legs and feet, because they don't do much. They just sort of keep him off the ground and help him to run and kick. What you can do, if you want to, is have him standing in a puddle of water. That way, he doesn't have to have any drawings of feet. There he is, standing in some water. Like that. And there's Horrid Henry. He does have feet. If you wanted to draw the feet, they'd be down there. He always wears old-fashioned baseball boots with those funny fronts on like that. And they lace up the front if you want to draw those. But you don't have to. You can hide lots of things you can't draw. Let's go through him again, because you want to draw Horrid Henry. If you want to draw Horrid Henry, draw a lot of hair. There he is. A little round face, a lot more hair going round it, like that. And angry eyes. There are the angry eyes. This time he's looking straight at you, like a hypnotist, staring at you. Then the nose. Sometimes a smile can be quite evil. So with these angry eyes, if he's smiling, you know he's up to no good. It doesn't matter too much where you put the smile. It's got to be roughly underneath the nose and not over the eyes, but down there somewhere. But if it's off to one side, don't worry. The thing about drawing is enjoy it. If you're enjoying it, that's, that's the main thing. And if you do it badly, from my point of view, that's terrific, because you're never going to get my job, are you? And his little neck. And then, have fun with the arms. Move them around. Remember where the elbows are, in the middle of the arms. Do try things like pointing. It's not difficult, just, just like that. Now he's pointing. This other arm going up like that. Now, this might be a little more difficult to draw a hand open like that. But give it a shot. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. If it doesn't work out, often all the better. It can look better that way. So, there he is. Horrid Henry. The arms, the legs. A little bit of movement. I've not got him standing in grass anymore. There's the underside of his plimsolls, his baseball boots, the top. These things look a little bit difficult to draw, and they are difficult usually because you're going to make them difficult. Because very often when kids start to draw, the first thing they're thinking about is, I can't draw. Well, that's nonsense, because of course you can draw. Everybody can draw. Everybody can draw. And then the next thing you, th you don't want to do is you don't want to m make mistakes. Well, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. Sometimes the mistakes are funnier than the drawings that go down well. So really don't worry. But what you must do is enjoy it. Enjoy making the marks and enjoy drawing your horrid Henrys.